day two of a strike against General Motors and progress is reported at the bargaining table tonight, but a spokesman for the United Auto Workers Union did not elaborate as talks continued into the evening. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell is live with the thoughts of an expert who believes the bargaining could be more difficult than in past negotiations. Alan? Well, Dave, no one knows how long this strike is going to go on for, but the folks behind me here in Hamtramck say they're ready for the long haul while these negotiations continue. But tonight, I spoke with an economic expert who says if this strike lasts longer than two weeks, it could hurt the economy right here in Michigan. We are fighting for right. We're out here just trying to protect our livelihood. The back and forth negotiations continue between GM and the UAW. This becomes a, uh, you know, a potential economic catastrophe for the state of Michigan. Should this strike continue uh, for uh, two weeks or so. Negotiating a new contract between the union and General Motors is proving to be a difficult task, with both sides seemingly not backing down. I was pretty much expecting that this would be a slow negotiation. Um, I pretty, I'm hoping this isn't more than a couple of weeks. Should this stalemate continue, it may do more harm than good. The state is, is really vulnerable. And when, you, when you factor in all of the supplier activity and suppliers that need a strong fiber and General Motors to do business with, uh, this becomes a, uh, you know, a potential economic catastrophe for the state of Michigan. We've seen Michigan representatives join the picket line. Now Ohio Congressman Tim Ryan also joining the line, showing his support for workers. Companies are making lots of money, CEO pays going up through the roof, and then the worker gets squeezed. And I think the vast majority of the workers in the United States, whether they're union or non-union, are sick of it. For the tens of thousands of workers who walked off the job, they want what's fair and equal. We want the wealth to be spread among all of us. We don't want 99% of the wealth to be controlled by 1%. Tonight, workers out here tell me they want what's right. Only time will tell now which side will give in first so that these workers can get back on the job. Reporting live in Hamtramck, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. Alan, thank you. Our UAW